always a confusing diagram from our reference table, page 14. Uh, planetary wind and moisture belts. And the question that I probably get asked the most is, what am I looking at? Okay, so this is the Earth right here. Like, this is the surface of the Earth. You can see the latitudes. The equator is zero, 30 north, 60 north, and then 90 is not labeled. That's the North Pole or South Pole. This right here is the air on the surface of the Earth. Um, it's not drawn to scale. The atmosphere is not this thick. But here's what happens. This is what this diagram showing you. This is a wet belt. The equator is very wet. This is where the rainforests are. And if you look at the air from the side, it's rising because it's hot. Hot air rises, hot air expands, rising, expanding, cooling, condensation, and clouds. The equator is very cloudy and rainy, okay, because it's so hot. And then what happens is circulation, convection cells, as that air cools off and it sinks back to the earth, sinking air gets warmed and evaporation happens and it makes it very dry, clear. So you get a dry belt here because the air is sinking above 30 degrees north. That's why the deserts are at 30 north and 30 south, okay? And then that air rushes across the surface of the earth and rises back up again. That's what makes your jet streams up here, which we've been looking at the jet stream throughout the whole year. And then surface winds, because the wind is rushing across the surface of the earth at different directions, in between 30 and zero, the wind is usually coming from the northeast. In between 30 and 60, the wind is usually coming from the southwest. That is this wind rushing across the surface. And that's why our wind is usually from the southwest. And there's different wind patterns on the surface of the earth. You just look at these arrows right here to see which way the wind is usually coming from.